Okay, so my name is Susan. Um, some of you we met on Thursday for organizational leadership. I'll be taking this class uh, again. So with um, with fundamentals of HRM, what I was proposing to do is similar to what I proposed for organizational leadership, but I'll go over it again because there are some, I understand there are some here who were not there on, um, on our other lesson, on our other introductory lesson. So what happens is if you join this class and you pay for this class, what you get is um, first this introductory class, which doesn't count because it's just introduction, it's free. Then you also get recordings of all the important material because we have been doing this over a long time. We are now more um, alert to the things that are likely to come in the exam. So those are the ones that I'll be concentrating on. So I will have some class recordings for all those, for the for all the four units that you are supposed to cover, right? Now, the reason why we are not meeting um, every week uh, for those lessons is because people have got so many different timetables. It's hard to get everyone together at the same time. But we want you to still benefit from all the, um, the units that are in your study guide. Now, what happens with the units is that I will not duplicate what Mancosa is going to give you on their webinars. I will bring new information. I will bring more research. I will make it in such a way that it's um, less. Uh, there is less content, so that we specialize on those things that are likely to uh, to be in the exam. And then, uh, besides that, we will also have a class where we meet, not a recording. We are going to have a class where we meet, like we have done today to discuss the assignment. Now with the assignment, I don't only come and tell you how to answer the assignment. I actually bring you a simple answer. And then I go through the whole question to tell you on this part, you need to write this, you need to write this, you need to write like this, the referencing, you do it like this, the table of contents, everything. That can be, um, maybe two hour or two hour class or so, so that we thoroughly um, do the assignment. We'll also meet in person again for the KCQ class uh, so that we go through the KCQs. The KCQs, we expect everyone to get 100%. Why? Because what we do is we give you all the questions that will come for the KCQs and the answers so that you just log in and you follow that document which I would have given you uh, normally I do it on a PDF um, you get the PDF document then you log in you answer all the questions you get your hundred percent from there we are going to meet again right uh, towards end of the semester to do exam preparation that time we'll meet maybe two or even three times if it's necessary to prepare you for the exam so that we know that you are going to go through the exam without any troubles. So that, that's the proposal which I have. Uh, like I asked the, the, other, the other ladies and gentlemen that I met the other day, is there anyone who has a question on that approach? Anyone with a question or even a contribution to say, no, I think here we should do it like this. This is the time when you, we can, we, we are here to arrange how we want to do the classes. Anyone with a contribution, a question? Then also besides the recordings for the for the study guide material. If you guys want, if you meet and you feel that 
after listening to the recordings, you need some clarification on anything, you can always tell um, James from VUT, he arranges for us to meet, even if it's just for 30 minutes or just an hour, we can always do that anytime. So that is what is in this package. Anyone with a question before I just give you the quick introduction to the to the module? You can type if you do not want to if you do not want to unmute. I know uh, for some of us maybe in the house there is a lot of background noise. Or anyone can unmute to just say it's okay or not okay. It's All okay, right. Susan. Uh, yeah, sorry for my background noise. I'm driving, but yeah, it's okay. You understand. All right. Yeah. Oh. All right. Thank you very much. I also have a typed message saying it's all good. All right. So I'll just, um, for the next maybe 10 minutes, just go through a few slides just to tell you what this module is all about. Why do you even need to go through this module? So that, you know, when you know why it is important, why you want to do this, not only for you to get your qualifications, but also in your life, in your working life, as you as you will be um, at different workplaces or even as you run your own business, why do you need to know this module? So this is what I'll just go through so that maybe by 20 past we are done. I understand that at half past seven, you have the introductory class again for business and society. So I need to have finished by then. And if possible, if I can finish 10 minutes earlier so that at least you can maybe make a cup of tea before you start the, the other introductory class. Okay. So the module is called Fundamentals of Human Resources. And... Um, the slides that I'm putting on the screen now, I need one person to confirm that you can see them. The slides that I'm putting on the screen, you are going to get them after the class. I will send them through. And also, every time I do a recording of, the, of a class, you will get slides. Now, the reason why I prefer to use slides is because slides are easier to go through. They have less content. They are not boring. There is sometimes they have pictures. They, they are more interesting. So it's easier to study using the slides than um, maybe Word documents or PDF documents. PDF documents can become, you know, they can become very long and very monotonous. If you are tired after a long day at work, it may not be so easy to go through an 11 page. Uh, PDF document. But when it's slides like this, you can simply, you know, just peruse through and you still grasp the same information. So the module is called Fundamentals of um, Human Resources Management. Let me just again the full name, Fundamentals of Human Resources Management. So this is the area where we are learning to manage people in totality. The other day when we were talking about organizational leadership, we were concentrating on the leadership part. But this time for fundamentals of HRM, we are looking in totality, the, the, the whole aspect of management. So there are four areas that we are going to cover. We will cover the fundamentals, which includes the roles, the responsibilities, the functions, competencies, skills of HR practitioners. We'll look at the evolution of human resources, like how did human resources start? And we will um, go back to as far as early 1900 up to date. What has been, what have been the changes in the HR field? What have been the developments, the challenges and so on? We'll look at that starting from early 1900 up to date. We'll also look at strategic human resources management, which is the modern uh, way of human resources management. 
Then um, on this one, we'll look at the phases of uh, strategic human resources, the different strategies that an organization can adopt and how that links with human resources. For example, let's say a, a, an organization wants to adopt the growth strategy. I'm going to go through with you all the strategies as I do the recordings, right? But I'm just giving an example to say, let's say an organization wants to adopt a growth strategy. They want to grow. What is it that human resources should do in response to that in order to support that uh, strategy of growth? Then also we are going to look at the current issues and challenges uh, that are there in human resources management. We know there are challenges. We know globalization, technological advancements are coming at a very fast rate. And this brings challenges to the human resources practitioners. What challenges are there? What approaches are there to manage those challenges? So in short, this is what we are going to cover. Then the focus of human resources management, this is now my own information. The focus of human resources management, always, always, it has to do with these three uh, words that are on your screen right now. Whatever you do in human resources has something to do with one of these three. You are either trying to attract um, personnel, you are either trying to recruit personnel, or you are trying to retain the personnel that you have. So anything that we are going to cover, you will see that it falls in line with one of those. Our main focus is on retaining the labor that you have. This is where we are going to learn about training and development. We are going to learn about performance management. We are going to learn, you know, how to make people stay within the organization, motivation, how to motivate people and so on. So this is just a simple three words, but there is a lot involved there. It's going to take us a whole uh, semester to go through how to attract, recruit and ret retain employees. Then I've uh, gathered a few definitions for you on what is fundamentals of human resources, what, what, what is covered in this module. So what is covered, um, I've written here that it's the essential topics that will provide you with a, a foundational understanding of managing people. So basically you want to learn how to manage people within an organization. And we are going to use um, case studies, theoretical knowledge, uh, practical applications, case studies, discussions. We are going to use all that to develop your skills in managing people, okay? And this is, just the definition of human resources management itself. What, what, what is human resources management? It is a field that focuses on effectively managing people within an organization. It sounds so simple, but trust me, as we go through this module, you are going to see how much is involved, how complicated it is, how, uh, you know, the intricacies there, how they interlink with each other. So there is a lot that uh, that is there. And I urge you to make sure that even when I send the recordings, just try to find time within a few days of receiving to go through it. You don't want to pile them up because otherwise the information will become too much for you. So as soon as you get a recording, within a day or two, just find time to... Um, after you put the kids to sleep and so on, when it is your quiet time in the evening, just um, play the recording, write a few notes, go through the slides, and then uh, you know it will make your life easier so that you don't pile up information. So why do we study this module? Why do we study fundamentals of HRM? There are 11 reasons that I've come up with. We'll just go through them quickly in a few minutes, we should finish. Number one, we want to have a global perspective of human resources 
within the global perspective. I've tried to put some uh, illustrations that will make you realize what I'm talking about and also to make the slides to be a bit more interesting, right? So the first reason why we want to study fundamentals of human resources management is for us to have a global perspective. We are now operating in what is called a global village. We are saying the world is called is now called a global village. Everything is interlinked. Everyone has to interact with someone else. So it is now more as if we are in a village at international level. So this is the first reason why we need to study fundamentals of human resources, because we are going to understand the HR practices on a global level and we know how to manage cultural differences, diversities, and so on that we will be meeting as we go through our day-to-day -day work of managing people. Number two, simply to be able to manage people. We want to learn how to manage people. Imagine if you are a supervisor in a workplace that is illustrated there. There are so many people, someone is doing something else. You need to know how to manage those people. Okay. Number three, for you to be able to bring the best uh, recruits into the organization, for you to be able to recruit and select uh, in an effective and efficient way. So this is talent acquisition and recruitment. We are talking about people, getting people within the organization. You can see from the illustration there, this person is faced with four people and there is one seat there, there is one vacancy who to choose, how to choose. We are going to learn all that. Also, how to check if someone is really working. We, we faced a problem during COVID-19 when people started working from home. No one really knew who was working or who was not working. Do you remember that time? Some people would not even work. Yes. Yeah, some, someone would not even work. They would wake up and do their own thing. Then they would log into the computer once or twice. So how do you check the performance of people, especially those who are working from home? How do you check to say so-and-so is not performing well? How do you tell that a secretary is not effective? How do you tell that a marketing uh, assistant is not doing their work? We are going to learn all that. Number five, how do you keep the employees? How do you keep the employees developed? Uh, there's someone, with the, someone forgot to mute there. Okay, all right. I think I've muted everyone now. Okay, so I was saying, the fifth reason why we want to study fundamentals of HRM is so that we are able to develop the employees. You know, everything is changing on a daily basis. Even those who are, who are using some software, some uh, programs at work, you know those programs are always getting updates. Whatever job you are doing, there is always something changing on a daily basis. So how do you keep up to date? How do you keep the employees up to date? You are going to learn all that in this same module. Number six, how to resolve conflicts. You know where there are people, there will always be conflict. We, we don't all come from the same uh, background or whatever. You know, we come from different places, different education, different cultures, different upbringing, different um, personalities. So we will not always agree. We need to find a way to resolve conflict. As managers, you need these skills to resolve conflict, to build employee relations. This is something else that we are going to learn in this module. So it is one of the reasons why we want to study fundamentals of HRM. Number seven, we want to be compliant legally. We don't want our businesses or the organizations that we work for to be taken to court for doing something wrong, maybe out of ignorance. <coughs> we don't want a manager, one of you, when you are a manager at your workplace to say, 
uh, the, the, the organization was sued. I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know that I'm not supposed to do this. So this is the other reason why we study fundamentals of HRM. We are going to know all the laws, the processes, the policies concerning employees. All right. Then also for strategic planning. Strategic planning is when we are thinking long term for our organizations. Uh, when we study fundamentals of HRM, we become better planners in terms of strategic management. So as I said before that this is a whole unit, strategic human resources management is a whole unit in this uh, module. Lastly, uh, sorry, it's not the last one. We also study this course so that we um, learn how to manipulate, how to manage a culture within an organization. Do you know that there is no place that has no culture? Every place has got a culture, be it in your home. There are ways, there are habits in which you do things. Same way at workplaces, there are ways in which people work. So as the manager, you are the one who is responsible to create a culture within an organization. So it is up to you to create a culture and to engage the employees. So this is another aspect that we are going to go through as we go through this module. Then change management, of course, there is always change. Change is, is inevitable. You cannot run away from change, but you need to know how to manage change. This is one of the things that we we'll go through in the module again. And then lastly, for you to be just ethical leaders, you to learn how to be leaders who have uh, good ethics, right? So these are the reasons why we are going to change, um, why we are going to go through this module. I hope you will come through and um, as, as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to send to Jasmine the slides for this. So I'm sure she will send in the group right away. Someone was asking for the slides for the other day. I thought I sent them. Um, maybe if you did not receive, I'll send them again. I'll send them again so that she also sends in case you didn't get. So as from next week, I would start the recordings and you'll be getting the recordings. And um, after maybe two, three weeks or so, we'll meet again in person. We go through what we would have covered or by then maybe if the assignment class is ready, we'll do the assignment or the KCQs. I'm not really sure of the actual dates, but this is how we are going to go through this. Anyone with a question? Anyone with a question on how we are going to go through fundamentals of HRM? Are you happy, guys? Because I'm about to log off. In a few minutes, you need to meet with Kuda. All good, Suzanne. All right. So have a good night, guys. It was nice being with you. The PCQs are only starting in April. They are only starting in April. Yeah, it's fine. When yes. As soon as they are there on your portals, we'll have a class where I give you all the answers to all the possible questions. Okay, thank you so much. Have a nice evening. Okay, you too. Have a good evening, guys. Huh? Thank you very much, Susan. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Those of you who are doing business and society, please log in. My colleague will be waiting for you at half past seven.